Hello everybody and welcome back to more Nuclear and Ultra. We are jumping in again. This time we are playing as Chikan, Chikan, Chikan. Let's jump on in and see what we can do. I did unfortunately miss uh, last week's episode, I think, if I'm correct on that. I think I did. Uh, try and open that up. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, just at the moment, like, making videos other than Isaac has been a little bit tricky. Like... It's not as if it takes a ton of time to make these videos or a ton of like, I'm not going to say it doesn't take no effort, but you know what I mean. Um, it's ju just being kind of sort of like difficult to take focus away from Isaac in certain situations when I've been a little busy here and there. So I do apologize to those of you that are really into this series that sometimes uh, the series isn't there as much as it should be. I will try to make sure that it is when I can. But, yeah, it kind of happens from time to time. The same thing is kind of happening for, um, what's it called? Um, Cult of the Lamb, if people have noticed that as well. So I really do apologize to people that really like those series. It's uh, it's going to happen from time to time, especially when, at, like at the minute, I have very busy work weeks, which is just the case at the moment. I end up uh, getting to essentially record Isaac either in the morning or like on my lunch break and then don't really get much other time to record and normally, I do have time on the nights, or at least I do have a bit of time on the nights, but usually that time is, like, time for either me to game with my friends or uh, do some stuff with my girlfriend, like, go out and get food or whatever. So, I tend to try to, try to keep the time like that, sort of, to myself, you know what I mean? Which, it's, it sounds like I'm trying to take taking focus away, but it's just, it's a good way of keeping, like, a good work-life balance, because regardless of me enjoying... Oh god, I'm definitely dying here. Regardless of the fact that I really enjoy um, recording, it is still technically work in a way. Um, I, it, it's obviously self self prescribed work. It's not something that I am obligated to do, but I obligate myself to do it. If you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, it's just trying to find that right balance. I do apologise that sometimes Nuclear Throne is one of the series that gets left by the wayside a little bit. It's still a game I thoroughly enjoy, so I'll try to make a bit more time for it when I can. Really liking having Bolt Marrow here, by the way. It's very, very good. We'll also take the Sledgehammer. Thank you. Good stuff. Oh, there was, there was a Reverse Floor there. Kind of would want to go to that, but... Um... Increase Primary Fire Rate. I think we're going to go with Bloodlust here. And then... I... Um, I think maybe we go with Puffy Cheeks as well. I like that. Okay, and we can uh, get the hell out of here straight away. Of course, I like that. Puffy Cheeks is always just a lot of fun. Getting the, those early triple shots. And it just means, like, in the lull between finding enemies, you can gain an extra shot. Oh, I was... For some reason, I mean, I know he's a boss that exists, but I wasn't expecting you so early. I really don't know why. Oh, God. Okay, that actually went okay. I did very nearly die. But that otherwise went okay. <laughs> okay, we're out here. Leveling up really fast. I think we'll go with Rabbit's Paw here. Just to get a little bit of extra. Also, it seems that we, uh, with Puffy Cheeks, you automatically get a full double load on going to the next floor. I think that's been changed. I don't remember it being like that before. Which is a really nice change, in my opinion means that you get a little bit extra with some guns. Obviously, guns that have really long reloads, I can imagine that being super useful for. With the setup we got right now, it's it's good, but it's not insane. X Dude, I've got Bolt Marrow. Why was it not homing on that guy? I could not tell you. Okay, that was kind of tricky. Uh, obsidian throwing knife. No, thank you. Uh, we'll take rhino skin here as well. This is a pretty good run to start, though. Pretty good run to start. I'm pretty happy with it. A good old classic bolt marrow regular crossbow run. It's good with me. These enemies we have to be a little careful for. But luckily the maggots get taken down very quickly. Just these guys, you need to slightly keep a little more range between you and them than you'd expect. Cube Revolver is decent. Oh my lord. Luckily we're just out of range for these guys. Not a big worry. 
Oh, there's more of them in this corner than I thought there was. I thought I'd cleared them all out. Bolt Marrow just isn't doing a great job, to be honest. I feel like it could be working a little harder. Oh my lord, there's so many of these guys. What the hell is this? Okay, we got them there. We didn't lose too much health there. I was a little bit worried. Almost got to level 7. That's really annoying. We're this close to a level. Oh shit! There's an assassin right there, you cheeky bugger. That was actually like a really, really well-placed assassin there. Really well-placed. That could have been our demise right there if he had got an extra hit on. Oh, bugger. Bushbox is already here, and I have already lost a lot and a lot of health. I don't really know what to be using, to be honest. I did not know Bushbox had um, so many enemies inside it. I'm trying to take out the others before him, which is probably a bad idea because he's constantly summoning more. I think I'm going to die here, you know. I did die, but I am chicken, so I just lose some health. I got some of it back. Ooh, tricky, tricky. Dude, these assassins. These assassins are rough. Oh, I want my health so badly. There's another assassin there! Fuck off! Oh my lord! The amount of assassins there was obscene! <laughs> I hope that lightning crossbow came through. It did. Good. So, very high likelihood of a swift death here. We've got to be very careful about that. We already lost some max HP here. This is a very, very annoying setup early on in this area. I took the risk. I definitely regretted it. I immediately took damage. Dude, the crit so many crystals. This is really tricky. Dude, die! Oh my lord. <laughs> this is really tricky. Ooh, the Cuba rifles can shoot through walls. I was wondering what their sort of reason for existing was, but now we know. I can't remember how we get our max health back. There is a way, but I don't remember what it is. Okay. This has been pretty tricky. This stage here specifically gave me a good run for my money. And that's it for here. Yep, there you go. I definitely need scarier fish right now. We are not killing stuff anywhere near as fast as I'm anticipating. And it's kind of ruining me. We need um, the better electric damage as well would be good. Okay, we're well back up to 10 health now. That gave us some max health back. What sun? The lightning crossbow isn't really doing as much as I thought it would, to be honest. I thought this thing would be insanely good. It's good, but doesn't quite have the, uh, the power I was expecting. Ooh, that's a slightly new effect, right? Oh, we're out of ammo on our crossbow. Okay, luckily that guy went down pretty fast and we got some ammo back. Damn. Slightly tricky at the moment. I think, damage-wise, we're going to have kind of a hard time on this stage. I, the crossbow really isn't... Like, it doesn't even one-shot that dude. I would, I would really expect a lightning crossbow to one-shot those dudes. And we're all out of it anyways. Here. Come on now. I need to remember I can shoot through walls with this thing as well. It's a very, very powerful effect of this gun. Makes it significantly better. I will say though, the flail is such an insanely good melee weapon. I have to take it. Um, I think tough shell is going to be good here. I'm not very happy with that ammo at the moment. I honestly think we just try and flail it for the most part, for the most part here. The flail is so good. Especially when you get those double hits with the um, extra reload. 
I really like the fact that that even works with melee weapons. I kind of wouldn't expect it to, so I'm really glad that it does. Okay, nice. Last fella over here. Gotcha. Straight through here. I'd like to get a modifier for one of these. Freeze would be really good on any of them, to be honest. Swarm is good. Perming we already have on this, so I'm going to say let's take Swarm with this. Lightning Crossbow is actually only a quality 5, though, so maybe I maybe I overestimated it just a bit. We got this, which is unfortunately not very useful. It, it, it potentially was good, but didn't give us much. Anyways, let's do the boss. I'm not very confident we're going to have a good throw in here. We've got to just try it out, haven't we? Okay. I think... Oh, there's that swarm look. I think I'm going to use the flail a little bit here just to destroy the projectiles. I don't know how much I, I ought to be using my crossbow. It's kind of slow going at the minute, though. I don't think there's going to be a quick kill at all. Okay, we're all out of ammo on that now. He almost ran me over. That was close. The closer he gets as well, the more attacks he gets right. I can't remember if it's exactly correct, but... I feel like he's more vivacious and more vigorous as he crosses down close as feather down the screen. There you go, we got him. Oh god, that was stressy. Definitely need a better weapon. We got our ultra. Um, kills exceed, extend bleed time. More melee damage sounds interesting. Uh, slow motion is much more effective. Ah, I forgot about slow motion. <laughs> I'd not been using that at all. Um, on any projectiles, even more effective with Euphoria. Slow motion completely stops your projectiles. Um, when in slow motion, you vanish and drop a decoy. Um, when vanished, enemies won't target you. This sounds kind of weird, but I think I'm just going to go for the more melee damage one. I, I don't know. It, it just seems like a, a really fun one to take with this weapon. I also forgot we'd be fighting this guy. If we can get the explosive flail or something like that, we'd be even happier. This guy is kind of hard to hit with a flail, to be honest. But yeah, I completely forgot that, that this character had slow motion anymore, not just weapon throw. I always forget that that changed, but in this version, it's still slow motion. Slow motion, in my opinion, is way better than weapon throw. I don't know why they ever changed that. Weapon throw is boring. It's super useless in my opinion. So this isn't going particularly quickly, but at the same time it wasn't hard. So I'm not going to complain too much. I would like to get that health if we can, but... Whatever. Right. Just on the prowl for a new weapon now. Yeah, I realise it's the more boring choice to just take extra melee damage. But I don't often really prioritise melee. And I think melee is a lot of fun. I think melee has the potential to be a lot of fun. Oh, we got a thingy there. Check what weapon this is. <laughs> Bouncer Bazooka. That sounds so good. In into a negative floor, which is kind of risky because there's a lot of explosive enemies on these floors. From, from my experience, there's a lot more explosive. What on earth is going on here? That's an absurd amount of enemies. Oh, is it you that's doing that? I see. We got explosive. We'll add that onto the uh, the, the flail here, I think. Oh, we're back up to 12 maximum HP now, which is good. Yeah, the explosive ad addition onto this is good. Okay, good. We have an extra enemy down there, but we'll just go through here. I just want to make my flail as beefy as possible. We've got swarm or reload speed. I think reload speed, honestly. This this thing actually hits pretty slow. We've already killed you. Get a max HP out of that. I don't think any of the other bosses are in our wheelhouse right now. Like in this new hub area as well. Very good. And then we can exit straight away. 
Yeah, I think reload speed could be really good on this. I don't know. I, I don't know how much it actually improves your reload speed by. I don't think it's a lot. We can get reload. Can we get double reload speed on it? I've never actually tried that. Okay, so we we do have inverted bandits, which kind of scares me. So far, though, things are going reasonably well here. Let's try and take out the more annoying enemies first. Especially the fact that it's knocking back shots as well. Right. Let's try and get double reload speed on this thing. I don't know if that... It does work. Yeah, that's significantly better. That's significantly better. If I could get triple reload speed on it, I'd really be happy. But honestly, explosive plus double reload speed is pretty good. It's a lot faster. It seems it seems to be about 20% per. Big assassin. He's dead. It's just good how he can hit so many times with the flail. Phil is able to hit multiple times because because the kind of strike stays there for a while. Okay, through we go. So far, so good. What a what a good first run. A bona fide melee run. We still need a better like primary weapon. Like we want one of those like ones that we can fire like once and it just dominates an entire area. But obviously they aren't super common. We're killing trucks really fast, though. That's always good. Blood cannon. No thank you. How are we doing on enemies here? A few more up this way. I'm taking hits here and there, but I think because of um, Rabbit Paw, we're getting enough drops to kind of um, be fine. Yeah, I think we're good for both of those. We did, however... Kill the vulture. A oh, big assassin, even sorry. Uh, so we need to go and find that wherever we can. A oh, bush box here. Uh, rads, and then game one life. There you go. Okay, good stuff. Good stuff. What do we need to kill next? We need to kill the big fish. We need to kill that. Hyper crystal. Hyper crystal's coming up. These two will need to kill on another loop, but. There's certainly a possibility of us getting all of them this run if we play our cards right here. I'd really like to do that as well because we haven't done it yet. We haven't done it yet and it's been a long time coming. It really has. I don't know why I opted to fight this guy first, but honestly, the, with the speed we just killed him, it ended up being the correct choice. My goodness. Just so good deflecting shots as ace. Lightning SMG, we keep finding that. Still haven't found a very good weapon. It's kind of weird, really. I mean, there's, there's certainly a possibility I've missed a few here and there. If okay, this is a stage that I can see myself taking some serious damage on. Just because of the explosive dudes that kind of come out of nowhere. Also, I got hit by the truck. Lovely. It was a very bad hit by me. I just kind of stood there. Okay, we got a Technomancer. Technomancer should die very quickly. Good. Yeah, luckily they do die very, very quickly. And one more of you. Good, good. Got, I think there's one more Technomancer on this floor somewhere. I'd imagine at least. No, no, no. We're good. Okay. 
We are good. We are in the gold. Big machine should be pretty easy, I'd imagine. With this, yeah, like I said, with this fire rate, where, oh, I forgot about the explosion. That was close. I'm going to have to be very, very, very careful on my next entry to the next level. Because I could die, like, pretty much instantly here if I'm not careful. Okay, there you go. We're, we're good now. We can't die instantly, at least. Oh, I mean, we still can, but it's less likely. Auto penetrate. What the hell's this flower that won't die? Auto penetrator I'm gonna take. I know it's a cursed weapon, but I, we do have the ability to home with it, so... Damn, I was really hoping for some more ammo or uh, health around here. Don't feel comfortable going to these next stages with this low HP, especially once Little Hunter comes in. Once Little Hunter comes in, that's gonna scare me a lot. Hey, what's this flower? There you go, that's nice. Yeah, I don't actually know what this 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 weapon's doing. Big disc? What the hell's that? Okay, it's firing all these discs, but I'm able to knock them back. Did I kill the big disc? Literally no idea. I think I did. We've got item drop and weapon drop. I guess we put item drop on this. Did we did did that spike ball boss count as one of these? It did not. I didn't expect it to. See, it wasn't there before, but I still have to check. Weird. Let's get gone. Still not quite got back to full HP yet. This thing seems this this crossbow seems insanely good, by the way. Like the, the melee weapon is really doing a, a great job, but I think this thing's going to kill Little Hunter so fast. It did. Yeah, that was amazing. Oh my god, this weapon's great. I don't care if it's cursed. It's amazing. I think we want to be starting off levels with this thing for the most part. Oh, we got this area. I forgot about the cast caves, cast crystal, whatever you want to call it. See, it just killed the cast crystal that fast. Oh wait, no, it didn't. But now it did. Yeah, this thing's actually insane. Weapons are actually bonkers. Seems to just—it seems to be one of those weapons that just kind of kills everything. Golden grenade revolver, very nice. Through we go. Things are going well. I think the, the thing with the melee weapon though is it's just, it's better because it's just so defensively powerful. It's knocking back shots. Yeah, it's just keeping things out of my out of my way. We've also got one of these guys. Yep, golden boy. Knock back so many of their shots. It's insane. We need to get to a portal soon. Good. I'm really gonna try my best if I can to get all the bosses killed here. Which I realize, me now saying, is going to mean that it probably won't happen. Oh, that was a super flail. It'd be really nice to get a new flail. Because the, the flail is really good, and I realize we have good upgrades on it, but getting like an explosive flail would up our damage output with it by a ton.
Alright, where's the rest of the enemies at? Oh, there's one, one of you down here. Is that it? Nah. Yeah, that's it. Good, good. Check off the hyper crystal. We got blood. We might as well slap blood on this, because why not? Also penetrator. I'm gonna have to remember that one. Um There it is. Unlock mutation reroll station. Interesting. Mutation reroll station's new to me. Golden grenade launcher. We're getting some good uh, golden unlocks for chicken here. That's one thing I always like to see. I reckon this guy's gonna go down very fast. In focus mode now. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. That was a little tricky. We lost a lot of ammo there, but we're good. I don't know what um, thing he's going to be like. Yeah, I'm, I'm apprehensive for this dude. I don't know if Throne 2 has any... Oh, is he, is he our friend? Oh, hello. Ow, I just took a lot of damage there. I'd like you just drop some ammo on the stage where I can pick it up, please. This is tricky. We might die on this guy. Just a lot of undodgeable shots going around. Like a lot. Oh, yeah, I'm dead. Okay, we're good. That was that was very tricky. That was not easy at all. some golden versions of these fellas. My goodness. What on earth is going on down here? Why is everything blue? Where's the... F I want the fish head. Where's the fish head? Got them. Okay. Um, second stomach seems like a good idea right now. Oh my god. Another blue area. I think these are like mini inversion zones. I think they might be new. I don't recognize them at least. Fish head. Okay, it's closed now. Back up to 13 max HP. Is this gonna take me to the fish area? I did I did interact with the skull. I'm hoping it does. It did, good. So as long as we survive, fish boss is in the running now. But that is as long as we survive, which, honestly, I'm not going to be super confident about <laughs> just yet. Oh, there's a second truck now as well. I forgot about that. I mean, the trucks are decent because they do give you good loot and they're fairly easy to dodge. Yeah, these inversion zones are pretty cool. Like a mini area where there's inverted enemies. I like that. Water. Okay, nice. Clear out one of them. Do a few shots from here. 
Second truck will be incoming anytime now. There you go. I think this one will just go for melee on. Because the melee is great because it, it seems to kill all the enemies before they even get out. That's not a guarantee, but oh my god, the super new launcher. Okay, fish time, big boss. Careful here. Okay, that wasn't perfect. Big fish is here. He's already hit me pretty hard. Okay, we got him at least. Is that it? That's it. Okay. Right, now just the Cheshire Cat boss, which honestly is the trickiest one because this is the area where things go wrong. Because the dragon, I don't think we have the range with this thing to melee him. So if our, if our gun doesn't kill him, it's going to be real tricky. Dude, that, that fucking sniper is really getting me. Taking a lot of damage. What's all these electric bubbles here? My goodness. Health is not looking good right now. I'd like some drops, please. Didn't get any. God damn it. <laughs> this weapon does have item drop on, on it, though, so... Hopefully, if we use it, we'll get some. Okay, we did get up to full health here. Gotta make sure I don't stay in the fire too long either. Okay, don't use any uh, thingy ammo now if we can help it. I need to use it for that guy, though. That sniper's really pissing me off. He's not, still not dead, goddammit. These inverted zones are really cool. They definitely add a bit of extra flair to the later areas on loops. I really like it. Okay. Dragon boss. Here we go. Oh, what the fuck's that doing there? I was not expecting that. Can I blow this up? I've got explosive on this thing. I was hoping I'd blow it up. Electric coming in. I don't want to. I don't want to open that chest, but I need to get back there to spawn the boss. I might be able to get around it. Okay, purple dragon spawned. Nice. I just want to make sure that ammo crate is there for me to utilize if I need to. What the shit, dude? This might kill him really fast, I don't know. That was a mimic. Fuck, that was a mimic. Damn it. Okay, I can reach him, which is good. That was scary. That was really scary. Okay, Cheshire Cat Zone. We still need to actually get a portal to, like, actually utilize the upgrades we get or whatever it is. Like, get our... I don't know how... I, honestly, I'm so focused on not dying right now that I cannot speak. here. Good. Oh my god. So focused right now. The, f the flail. It's just too good. Okay, 
I did I did kill some stuff there, but not a lot. He managed to blow up the truck for me, nice. Okay. That's one this is one more accepted. And we need one last one. Projectile speed, shotgun, I don't think either of those do much for us. I mean I might as well take shotgun on this. I won't don't see why I wouldn't. Right. Where's the uh where's the trading area? This way, I think. It's, all, it's always to the right, I think. Yeah, okay, here we are. Um, okay, so we got this one now. Increase your max level by one. And then, yeah, it's literally just Cheshire Cat to go, right? It is. I, I guarantee I die before getting to it. I, I don't know. I can just feel it. I can just feel it that it's not going to work out for us, which really upsets me. But I'm going to try my best. I'm going to try my best. Because I still need to actually kill the boss on this stage, survive, but then also... Like, that's an insane amount of enemies right there. But also, I then need to um, make sure I get to another stage where I can find one of those things. Honestly, there is so much going on right now. How the fuck am I meant to keep track? This is really tricky. There is legitimately so much going on right now. Okay, Cheshire Cat's dead. Come on, next stage, please have a thingy area. Um, long arms. Long arms is fantastic for us right now. I can't believe we didn't have long arms until now, I'll be honest. I kind of just forgot about it. Don't you dare, game. Did that thing have homing? Man, these elites are brutal. God damn it. There's not going to be one, is there, until next area. I've got to quickly do a cursory check around to make sure. Doesn't look like it. God damn it, game. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. I'm having so much fun, but god damn, I'm so like worried it's not going to pan out. Focus on the trucks for now. Trucks are important to get rid of. Good, good. Try and take out some of these enemies through the wall. As many of us as, as I can through the wall. You are dead, good. You are a very big threat. There is one! We got one! Okay, all we have to do is survive to the end of the stage. I don't know where the end of the stage is. Oh my god, we did it. Oh, I'm so excited to see what we end up getting here. This was... So intense. Oh my lord, it was so intense. Right, um, it's down here, I think. Last one. Game plus one maximum HP. Start the ultimate challenge. Let's do it. Is it just gonna be a gauntlet of all the bosses? It might be. I, I'm gonna die so fast on this, aren't I? Oh my god, this is really cool, but I'm very scared. I don't know if there's more bosses around I should be seeing. I'm, I'm basically going to be swinging almost constantly to make sure I'm reflecting shots whenever I can. Another one of you. There's a Cheshire Cat here. I didn't engage the Cheshire Cat for a while, which I'm annoyed that I've now engaged it. Get over here so I can engage you. There's someone sucking me in. It's you. Stop. Oh my god, this isn't a lot challenge. 
Get over here, you shithead. Trying so hard to kill that cat. I got him, I got him. Oh my god. This is so cool. <laughs> Okay, we got one of the disc guys in here though. Luckily, melee seems to be really good against the disc dude, so I'm happy about that. We got box in here as well. Okay, we're getting overheals as well. We're at 22 max HP right now, which is fantastic. This disc boy is still kicking, doing his thing. I really need to kill him. The bush box isn't all that hard because we can just. Make sure we're never on cattle directions. We've got overheal again here. Another overheal up to 25 HP now. The overheals are kind of going to be our savior, I think. I'm kind of worried about how much overhealing is giving me, to be honest. I feel like, oh my lord. I feel like it's going to be some insane enemies coming up if I'm getting this much overhealing. If you know what I mean? It's preparing me for something and I don't know what. Cast crystal here as well. This weapon, this, this melee weapon is so good. Oh, you as well? Okay, we've lost all of our Irby healing now, which I hadn't noticed. Very worrying. I think we're nearing the end of the challenge. I feel like it's crescendoed a little bit. We've seen all the bosses now, I believe. Nothing else seems to be spawning. Last enemy. We did it. Bro, I, that's a boss. Oh god. Um, excuse me? How am I meant to dodge this? What in the fuck is this? How am I meant to dodge some of these? No. Did my did my game just crash? Okay, no, 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 it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I thought my game just crashed. It just like paused me for some reason. I think this is a boss that we can't take out with melee, sadly. <laughs> Which is very problematic for us, because melee is like our only good thing we've got going for us right now. We're taking very consistent damage. We have zero idea how much health this guy has. Oh no. I, I don't think we're going to be able to do this. This is seeming really difficult and we're getting hit a lot. Okay, we are getting semi-regular healing. But I can't really attribute... Oh, we got him, we got him. We did it. Save run. Can only save once per loop. I don't know what that means. <laughs> what does this mean? Anyways, that was that was exhilarating. That was that was truly, truly amazing. Super shark gun. Seems pretty cool. I mean, this gun's still too good to pass up, but that seems pretty awesome. Wow, that that was that was absolutely just fantastic. What a unique and interesting challenge plus boss. Yeah, I don't know what it means by save run. I'm guessing it means we can like continue later on. Are we really gonna die like right here now? It's seeming like it. Oh my god. Okay, we're good, we're good. This has been beautiful. I think we're probably going to end off the run. I think this might be the longest nuclear run run I've ever had. So I think we're probably going to end off the run post this loop, you know? Because we're on 44 minutes already, which is... Uh, we got another a helper. Oh, no. 
Okay, I was gonna end the run. No, the game will be doing that for me. <laughs> Unless I kill this guy very, very quickly, I think we're gonna be dying pretty quick on this area. There's so many undodgeable bullets going on. This is training, okay. I managed it. This is training me to dodge very well. <laughs> I'll say that for sure. And who'd have thought we actually did this with a chicken melee run? Right, I'm going all guns blazing now. I'm just going to run in smacking things and see what happens. If we die, it is what it is. We keep, like, our health is just fluctuating so rapidly right now. It's hilarious. Oh, we got some of these guys now. Some of the new PD guys. Golden pop rifle unlocked. Yeah, now I'm just on a, on a run to uh, unlock more golden weapons. The only thing that's a, that are really hurting us right now, the only things that are really doing a, a good job at killing us, oh my lord, is um, bullets that we can't reflect. Non-reflectable bullets are really hurting us, but otherwise everything else, we're kind of doing a pretty good job at keeping away. The flail is amazing. I can't believe we finally did the ultimate challenge after all this time. I'm so happy about that. I feel like I've peaked in Nuclear Throne. Doesn't mean I'm going to end the series or anything, but I feel like we've achieved everything we wanted to achieve in this series now, pretty much. But there's still so much more to see and so many more cool synergies to get that I really don't mind playing this more and more. Same reason I still play Nuclear Throne and Nuclear Throne uh, Enter the Gungeon. I really like these sort of warp zone things. It really adds a lot of extra difficulty, but in a really good way. You see, the only things that hit, hit me are those purple bullets. I do have to go out in like half an hour, but I <laughs> wasn't expecting to, this run to go on for 50 minutes, to be honest. I was going to record an Isaac video as well, but fat chance of that now. Is this, this going to be our first time killing Mum? It is. Warp zone incoming. Honestly, Mum could hurt us quite badly too, because she uses a lot of poison. There you go, we got her there. Get in there. I'm glad I took them on more melee damage, uh, Ultra, I'll say that for sure. Oh, I almost died there, I lost some max HP. Okay, damn. I need help. I need help. I got it. No! <laughs> I got revived, though. I got revived. Um, I just need to get my auto penetrator and my flail back. What on earth is going on right now? Is this just to save us in case? Oh, we've gone to a reverse floor. I don't know if that's going to go too well for us. There is mom. Oh, God. Oh, God. We've already died. Let's get that back. Okay, so... Thank God we didn't go to the sewer before, because the sewer is deadly. Holy. Apparently we're back up to level ultra already. This is nuts. What is going on? We're down to 2 HP. And we are fully dead now. That's it. Yeah, that was a fantastic run regardless. I hope you guys enjoyed that because that was that was truly the run of all runs. I mean, like, look at how many golden weapons we unlocked that run. We got another four. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Fantastic run, and I'll see you guys in the next one.